got some unfortunate news for 49ers and former Washington football team tight end Jordan Reed. Uh, he's retiring from football uh, due to concussion issues. He's had a lot of them in his career. Um, he's played seven seasons with the football team and spent his last year with uh, the 49ers which was last season. Uh, and, and throughout his career, he caught 355 passes with 28 touchdowns. Uh, and last season, he played 10 games with the 49ers and only caught 26 passes. So. And a lot of that was obviously due to concussions that he suffered throughout his career, which is very unfortunate, Mario. Before I pass it on to you, the source for this was John King, who was an ESPN staff writer. So I'll let you go first. Your thoughts on Jordan Reed retiring? Well, first of all, you know, uh, congratulations to Jordan Reed on a successful NFL career. Yeah, Nate, it is very unfortunate that he's retiring, especially the fact that it is because of uh, concussion issues, you know? Obviously, concussion issues, those are very big things in the NFL, head injuries and everything like that. And I'm going to be honest with you, he's making the right decision. He really is, because you just don't want to keep testing your health like that. You know, we've seen what certain uh we've seen what so many concussions could do to a player you know we've seen what type of lasting damage it has in their brains um some of them end up going down a very 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 wrong road and it ends up taking a turn for the worse others just end up having psych like men like mental problems when they get older you know so it's something that i don't think jordan reed really wants to deal with you know um again it doesn't say i want what i'm curious about um is this quote right here that he said right here he said and i quote before when I had a concussion, I would feel better afterwards and I would have lingering effects. If I didn't have any symptoms, I would have kept playing. I'm okay with it because I know the reason why I'm making the choices for family and my friends so I can be there for them. It's just time. And I absolutely respect that. So the question is, so the question is like, how much of an effect did this, did he, all these, these concussions that he had, how much of an effect did it have on him? Is it gonna have on him in the future, you know? Because let me tell you something, Nate, we, an interesting fact is you don't find out about CTE until the person is dead. The person has to die in order to find out about CTE. And I hope it never, I hope it doesn't get to that with Jordan Reed. You know, I never wish anything like that upon anybody, you know, because that's just a very unfortunate, a very messed up uh, disorder right there or disease. You know, CTE, it's, a, it's no joke, Nate, you know, and it leads people to, and it doesn't help people's brains to say the least. So concussions, again, concussions are a leading cause of it, I want to say. You know, a lot of football players get them. A lot of athletes get them. So, I mean, I hope that it doesn't lead. It doesn't go up to that point with Jordan Reed. But regardless, you know, I'm glad he's making this choice. I think it absolutely is the right choice in his certain situation. And with that being said, I wish Jordan Reed the best of luck in retirement. I wish his family and his friends well, too. Yeah, as do I. You know, best of luck to Jordan Reed in his uh, um, future endeavors. Um, yeah, Mario, you know, that's that's the thing with being injury prone, you know, there's, there's only so many injuries you can take before you finally have to say I'm done. You know what I mean, like, that's this is what I talk about all the time, you know, athletes don't, you know, even though you can make a career out of the sport, and you definitely can, it doesn't last as long as other careers you can do in life, you know what I mean? That's why I say you gotta start appreciating athletes while they're still here, because this is the stuff that happens, you know, especially when you play a sport like football. You know, they only last, like, you know, they only last, you know, 10 years at, at most. You know, some some can go way further than that, but it's just not that common anymore because football is just such a rough, uh, rough hitting game. It, it's just a thing, you know what I mean? And, you know, every, to anybody out there that's an athlete that's still playing, you know, you know, and if you're injured, you know, my advice to you, do not play with an injury. You probably already noticed. I know some people will just do it anyways because they want to tough it out, but it's only going to hurt you in the long run, really. You know what I mean? You know, if you got an injury, you know, do it the right way, do physical therapy, do what you gotta do to make sure you're hundred percent that. You know, that 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 can that can hurt you, especially, you know, even if you do heal up one hundred percent, as you get older, it's just gonna hurt you even more. Even even after you're done playing, it's just gonna hurt you as you get older. So, you know, make sure you're healthy and all that. Don't play with injuries, you already know that. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but I'm just gonna say it anyways, because you know, I know how some people are, but you know, with that being said, you know, I, I absolutely respect Jordan Reed's decision. You know, if I was in that, if I was in that boy, I would have probably done the same thing. You know, if I'm just, if I'm suffering too many concussions, you know, there's only so many more I could take before I have to stay on. And that's just ultimately what he ended up doing. So with that being said, you know, best of luck to Jordan Reed in his future endeavors. You know, best of luck to best of luck to his family, his friends, and very excited for his future.